In tonight's special report, at one point in your life, you may have heard a higher calling, a draw towards something bigger than yourself. Well, that's what happened to one airman stationed here at Peterson, and he left a lot behind to serve our country. It was just another store printed on the second page underneath the Tigers football score. There's a lot of magic in that town that just like runs through the whole city. Nashville is the town where this singer-songwriter's dreams came true. Burning up every station like a, you know, a million times it seemed like a day and you couldn't turn the station on without hearing it. But the story behind Jamie Teachner's biggest hit so far comes from a dark place. The true story of a teenager's suicide. It said he was only 18 about my age, I found him face down on his bedroom floor. Blaine Larson recorded the song Jamie wrote with Rory Feek, and what do you know, it went platinum. I'll never forget that moment, and we sat there and we, we were like, we, we've done it, we, we've arrived, you know, and that was, that was truly the, the time. But here's what means more to Jamie than all the awards in the world. This young girl had walked into her father's bedroom and went to his nightstand because he kept a pistol there. She pressed that pistol to her temple and then this song came on the radio. How do you get that lonely? And nobody knows. She made a different choice. And took the gun in and gave it to her mother and told her what she was going to do and said, I heard this song and it made me think nobody knew that I was lonely. Her mom called the radio station and that story got back to Jamie. And that's when he fully realized the power of music. And you might say that's what led him here to Peterson Air Force Base, where he's the lead singer of Wild Blue Country. From a very genuine, old-fashioned point of view, I just wanted to serve and then I saw there was a chance to be a commercial country singer for the Air Force. But Jamie is just one-fourth of this equation. First mom kicks in and so I wanted to know you know what does that look like what are the schools like where are we gonna live. Jen his high school sweetheart got on board. We have both had family members who have served so it was always important to us but I think there was a little bit of a disconnect for our, our children. Charlie and Lily were quick to follow. I was like Yay, we get to go somewhere and have an adventure. And I was like, man, I'm going to miss my friends. They're the biggest reasons Jamie went down this path, trading his cowboy boots for camo. I thought it was really cool and weird because he he's never worn it before. Since we've been here, I've seen a change in our family. At 5 o'clock, when the day's over, they play the anthem. And um, when you're outside, you're supposed to turn and face the music. For them, if they're inside, they run outside and put their hand on their heart. They love the anthem. When they call, we fight wars. There's mud on our floorboards. And harvest time's the only time that we miss church. Jamie hopes his music inspires the next generation of service members, just as it certainly inspired the next generation of teachers. You gotta rock if you're gonna roll with me. Baby, you gotta rock. And Jamie's had multiple top 10 songs as a solo artist. He's done backup vocals for Blake Shelton. He's written for the likes of Luke Bryan, Trace Adkins, Trisha Yearwood, and Vince Gill, as well as many, many more. When his service is up next June, the teachers will head back to Nashville, and he'll no doubt carry this experience wow. on. To his music there. It's incredible. That guy's got a great voice. You he can tell he? how talented he is. Oh, and he has so much fun, and he loves it. That whole family, they were just wonderful. <laughs> yeah, how did you meet this guy again? So I emceed the Air Force Ball a couple months ago, right. and he sang the anthem. And we were sitting at the same table, and I used to work in Nashville, so we started talking, and I learned all this. Wow, good thing you talked to this guy. This is a yeah. great story. Yeah, such a great, great guy, <laughs> great family, <laughs> right. and great story. Well, stick with us. We've got more news coming up.